What if we replace the sun with the crab pulsar? Okay, this would be an interesting one. The crab pulsar weighs more than the sun, but it's a lot smaller. So we're gonna see how that will change the orbit. So let's go ahead and replace the sun immediately with the crab pulsar, there it is. Plop it in, and there it is. So, a very small dense ball. There it is, all the way in the center. With its two pulsating jets there, of course. Obviously a lot more radioactive, higher surface temperature than uh, obviously what the sun had from a long, long change. But look at the orbits. Slightly stronger gravitational pull has slightly pulled in some of the orbits. A lot more uh, elongated and eccentric kind of orbits if we speed up time a bit. Let's really watch the shell unfold here. So most of the orbits, you know, stay, you know, roughly in check. You can see the gas giant orbits, ice giant orbits, their orbits have also been changed slightly by the stronger tug of the crab pulsar compared to what the sun had, but for the most part, the system seems to be roughly in check. I reckon over a long period of time, you probably would see some changes. Jupiter and Saturn now in different positions that would probably get to ejecting and distorting more orbits. If we go to the inner solar system, just pause it. Mercury seems to be doing okay. <laughs> at minus 141 degrees. Earth completely snowball at this point. We zoom in on Earth. Still receiving some sunlight from the tiny pulsar. As you can see in the very far distance is a tiny little object so earth is completely frozen over minus 200 now um, what i'm seeing on the side here venus same fate it's going to stay cold crab pulsar itself luminosity is only 0 0.006 luminosity of the sun here so this thing is not going to be warming your planets anytime soon obviously it's spinning very very quickly as well but yeah that is what happens if you replace the sun with the crab pulsar